Hey, what's up everyone? Today is Saturday, January 2nd, 2021, and this is my first video of the new year, and I have a 2020 production, Russian IRP Sturm ration. And this is really, really cool because I actually ordered this off of mrmountain.com and it came all the way from Belarus, and it took um, pretty much a month to get here. And I did not expect the production date to be November 20th of 2020. So this ration is only about six weeks old and it's pretty hard to get your hands on a ration that is this new and has an expiration date of April, 2022. So I'm super excited about this one. I've been waiting for it for a while. Um, you know, during the holiday season, the posts and everything's really, really slow. So obviously it took a while to come here, but I'm glad it did. And I also have another one of this. Of course a different menu and this one's going to be menu 11 and the english translation is pork in its own juices which i'm not really sure but i guess it's just going to be some form of pork um so a bit about the russian rp sturm um these are created for the special assault forces in the russian federation uh, army i guess and these all have 1400 calories plus and it's just one single meal but all the stuff in here is perfectly organic and gmo free which is really really nice for an mre so Without further ado, let's get this open. And the package is really, really nice. It's this cool camo, green camo, and it's very smooth, no sharp edges. All the information is up there. Um, also, the macros are here. So 63 grams of protein, I think 61 grams of fat, and 88 grams of carbs in here. So it's good that they list all of that at the front. Pour out all of our individual components, and the bag is now empty. So let's see. All right, so we have our main course here. This is actually a very hefty portion of uh, 325 grams of just probably some form of roasted pork or something. And it's actually really heavy, 325 grams. So I'm very happy to get a big portion of the main course. In comparison, the US main courses are about 227 grams at most or 228. So you're getting a good amount of food in here and lots of protein. Um, this is the Russian pate that I'm really looking forward to. This is really sought after, and this is authentic. Of course, we have a couple of candies on the side. So that looks like a mint, that looks like some kind of, maybe strawberry candy. We'll try that at the end. Ooh. Um, not sure what this is, maybe a moist towelette. Kind of soft in there. Or maybe tea, I have no clue. We'll take a look in a second. A nice textured green napkin. Here we have a giant flameless ration heater, which I will be using. It's kind of cold outside, so my hands are freezing up a bit, but I think this is like a sugar or something. Not really sure. Could be coffee. This one's probably sugar. Um, so here we have our Russian tea. And then, no clue what this is. This could be a beverage, I'm not sure. Apple jam. Crackers. Um, I guess pepper. And a see-through clear plastic spoon. All right. So let's start by using this Russian flameless ration heater. I've not used one of these before. This is my first time eating a Russian MRE. Um, so it steams, it, it steams inside and you have a like tab to open. I guess this is for letting the steam out. Um, so if you look at the instructions right there. So we start off by step one, putting in the, um, the item. So first I think we have to tear this. Oh, wow. Well, that teared completely. Oh, looks like we completely screwed that part up. Um, interesting. All right, and then you remove the strip and then you put the stuff in there and then you let it steam for 15, 20 minutes. I don't know why it ripped like this. It ripped so easily and it doesn't really matter if we... Oh, actually, this isn't um the holes for steaming, actually. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, the sticky thing, so you can wrap it around. All right, so since we screwed that first step up, which I hope is not detrimental, um, let's just rip the side of this off and put our main in there.
put it. Wow, this is kind of tight. I don't mean to be making a mess of this, but put it in horizontally. I'm just gonna fold that in there and put it in. Shove it in there. And then we will use the flameless ration heater on this side. And then let's add our water in there. And then we'll fold it around a couple times. Not really sure if there's a fill line or anything, but hopefully I don't put too much water. So yeah, let's add a bit more water just in case. Sometimes it gets hotter if you add a bit more. Fold this around and stick it up. Make sure the water gets all in that heater. I can feel it start to heat up already. So just want to make sure that, oh shoot, the water's spilling out. Could not have messed this up more than I just did, but I guess we'll just leave it like that. I'm gonna set it to the side. Wow. Okay, I can hear a sizzle now, which is good. Alrighty, I did not expect that to take so long, but let's get on to the snacks and sides. All right, let's try these Russian crackers. So you get six of them. They look nice. Well, they smell, they don't smell like a, they smell, I guess, hardier than a saltine. If saltine was like whole grain, you know, that's what it smells like. It breaks pretty easily. I mean, I've had the Lithuanian Rusks and those, those are impossible to break. So let's just give it a try on its own. These are unsalted. And yeah, they have a roasted wheat flavor to them. Pretty nice. But obviously they give us jam and pate for a reason. So let's start with the apple jam. Look at that. There's my spoon. There it is. Let's put it on a spoon first. Let's take a look at the color. It's not very runny. It's more like a gelatin, which is nice for texture. It tastes like condensed apple juice. Basically what you'd expect. Pretty sweet. It's really good. Spread that out. All right, bon appetit. It's not overly sweet to the point where it hurts my where it hurts my teeth. The texture is really good on the cracker. And when you put it in your mouth, it doesn't like melt or disintegrate. It just, it holds. Let's go for one more bite. There's the back, there's the front. Standard apple jam, but um, I feel like apple jam isn't too common in a lot of rations. Definitely tastier than the US apple jam, I can tell you that. Very nice. All right, let's go on to the pate. Really looking forward to this one. MREMountain.com even highly recommends the Russian IRP Sturm just for this. Oh, by the way, I got this during the Black Friday sale where you get buy one, get one free. So all I had to do was pay $25 for one and $10 shipping, and I got an extra one. All right, looks pretty standard in color. Excuse my leftover apple jam. Let's just go for a bite on its own. It's a pretty big spoonful. Oh wow, that is so creamy. It's not overly salty. There's no other taste to it. It's not bitter or sweet, but it's just slightly salty, very, very creamy and smooth. Super smooth by smooth. And it's kind of like foie gras, 
but it does have a livery taste to it, which I do enjoy, but I don't know if everyone enjoys that because sometimes it can get a bit overpowering for people. So let's put a bit on a cracker and see how that goes. Wow. How often do you get pate in, a, in an MRE? Wow. So good. You don't even taste the cracker anymore after you put the pate on it. It just goes down so smooth. It's such a good combination. 10 out of 10 item right here. I can't stop eating it. It truly is one of the best combinations in any MRE I've tasted. And also, keep in mind, all this is really fresh. It only lasts about a year and a half, the expiration date, so about 18 months. And this has only been out for six weeks, so. Props to them. I mean, if you're working in a special, in a special forces unit, this is the type of food you gotta be eating. 1,400 calories for the whole thing, that's a guarantee. All right, so I have no clue what this is. I don't know why we get two, but let's just open it and see what we get in one. Oh, so it is a moist towelette. Nice. All right, let's give it a review. So first off, this feels more like cloth than a towelette or a wet wipe, like a higher quality one. It's very moist, but you can't really see beads of moisture on it. It's more porous and it has no smell to it which is really interesting. Pretty sturdy. Very good, I'll save the other one. Probably for later, or if not, I don't use it. All right, nice. I have no clue what this is. Um, 20, maybe that's 20 grams. I'm not sure what it is. I don't see why they would give you 20 grams of sugar. So if it's not sugar, then what could it be? Or it might just be sugar. It is sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Actually, let me make the tea and then I'll add some sugar to that. And then this is, I'm guessing, salt. You get less salt, but this still feels like a lot of salt. It's like a five gram salt packet. So let's make the tea. I'm not sure what type of tea this is. Um, I've seen on other reviews or in English, this might be like some like Russian Ceylon tea. tea. I don't. I'm not really a tea connoisseur, and I don't really drink tea, but let's try some. All right, so I got pretty hot water in here. Let's just do that much. So we're just gonna let that sit in there, and hopefully it turns out to be really nice. So you don't actually get that many sides. I mean, you just get your crackers and pate and some jam um, some sugar for your tea, and you also, I think this is a, um, electrolyte drink of some sort with, like, fruit flavor. Not really sure. Um, also, I need to figure out how much water to add to it. I have no clue. It says 200 to 250, I think, maybe. So, I'm gonna drink some of my water here, and then I'll make this. So, we have about 200 in here. Get this open. Look at that. It's just like a white powder. It's really fine and it smells like strawberry. Very interesting drink powder. These European MREs never fail to surprise me. They're really delicious and they also have a lot of interesting components to them that you don't find elsewhere. So that should be all the powder. Interesting. So maybe that's like bits of strawberry or something at the bottom. It's like a nice grapefruit color. You have bits and pieces of some some darker chunks, maybe strawberry seeds, um, maybe a bit of the actual fruit itself. But that looks, that looks very interesting. Never had a drink that looks like that before. Again, not a lot of sugar crystals at the bottom, if not, if any. Let's give it a whiff. It doesn't smell like much. It's kind of weird. The, the strawberry flavor is so faint. It tastes, the sugar, the sugariness is just complete sweetener. 
Um, it has a very strong sweetener aftertaste that lingers on. Like initially it's a bit sweet and then after like five seconds, you know, the sweetener sweet, it hits you really hard. That's really weird. Um, yeah, I give this like a seven and a half out of 10. Can't say I was really enjoying that one. All right, well, we'll try the tea in a second. You can see it looks really nice actually, the color, the tea. And on a cold day, I wouldn't actually mind having a couple sips. So let's add a bit of sugar to that. Just a bit. Not too much. I'll let that sit in there and dissolve for a bit. Uh, so before we try the tea, which will be the last thing that we'll try before the main course, let's just try a bit more of the pate and cracker because this is absolutely fantastic. And something to know about the Russian IRP Sturms is that they have a lot of protein compared to most other rations. I mean, 61 grams. That's twice as much as what you'll find in a standard US MRE. I could eat this every day. Honestly, the flavor's so good. Let's go for one more bite. Most of the calories in the ration are probably coming from the main course, which is huge, as well as this pate because of the high fat content. And this is where most of the fats are coming from. And you get your carbs from the crackers and the apple jam. Really, really tasty. All right. Let's get a fresh spoon. Got to stir up the sugar in there. Tied up with the tea bag. Oh no. All right, let's give that a let's give that a smell. It smells like a black tea actually, with a slightly floral aroma. But don't quote me on it. It smells really good actually. It does taste like a floral black tea. Black tea is one of the only teas that I don't dislike. It's good, but I prefer it with milk. But this is actually quite good on its own. And just the few grams of sugar I did add in there, it really brings out the sweet flavor. I like the aroma as well. Wow, I like that. Pretty good. If anyone likes tea, I think this would be this would be I, this would be perfect actually, because not a lot of rations include tea. I guess European rations do, but mostly Eastern European rations. This pate is addicting. I cannot stop eating it. Like, honestly, it's so good. All right, so we have our main course, which is really hot, piping hot, actually. You can see the steam come out of there. How am I gonna grab this? Oh man, it's really hot. I'm gonna actually step back from my table and go off to the side and take this out. So just give me one second. Excuse me. That heating packet is still really, really hot. So I gotta be careful not to touch that. But anyways, here's our main. And the outside of the package has some residue from the Plymouth ration heater. And also since it's like a paper printed on here, it's starting to rub off a bit. But I don't think I'll be concerned with that. So let's tear this open. All right. Oh, what is that? Wow. Oh, it's roast pork and spices. That is amazing. It's actually just like the picture on the front. It's like a nice slice of pork, very tender. 
coated in aromatic spices and filled with juices. Look at that. That actually looks delicious. So well seasoned. So let's take this out onto a plate. Well, actually, I might have to use a bowl for this. Not sure how big this is though, so let's just take this out on a plate first. So many juices. That is huge. Oh my God, I'm getting a whole, whole Christmas dinner in a Russian ration. I mean, look at that. That is a giant ball of pork, wow. So they don't give you a knife or anything. So I'm assuming that this will be tender enough to cut with a spoon. And if it is, then this will be absolutely fantastic. Look at that. That looks amazing. Holy crap. And this is steaming hot as well. All right, bon appetit. Mmm. It's so garlicky. It's peppery. Look, even the sun's coming out. We got that glisten. The gravy is coated in this like umami oil. It's really, really good. And it's just that melt in your mouth pork. Let's go for another bite. It's a bit salty, but during the Russian winter, I think that's the least of your concerns. You can just see how all these pieces just fall so gently apart. It's really good. It's like the most prominent flavor is definitely the garlic, but then after that it would be black pepper. This is hands down the best MRE I have ever had. A giant slab of juicy pork, a delicious creamy pate, fantastic crackers and jam with the option of tea. The energy drink was so-so, but I'm lost for words. Look at this piece. This piece is completely coated. You can see bits of garlic everywhere too. And the other spices, I'm not really sure. Could be a bit of parsley in there. Let's go into the center of that giant piece. Can I see this? Oh man. Oh, just a bit fall off. Excuse that. We have a giant piece of fat up there. That goes really well. Let's try that. Mmm. That fat is amazing. Let's put some on the cracker. To so all the people who don't like fat out there, this is this is something you gotta try. Just to change your mind. Mmm. It's so good. You can have it with the pate, you can have it with the fat. And even the lean meat. It's so, it's so good. So I don't want to bore you guys any longer, but menu 11, Russian IRP Sturm. It's one you got to try for yourself. There's no other way of describing it. Look at those juices. Let's get another bite of the pate. Oh man, that's so good. All right, so before we finish, we still have a mint and a candy, but let's just take a look at this pepper. I'm not sure if it's hot pepper or if it's black pepper. Mm. Okay, so that's black pepper. I don't think the pork needs any more of the black pepper. Maybe since this is a bit more fresh, it can add a bit of flavor, but personally, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit and then call that a day. So let's move on to the mint. By the way, I'm gonna finish this complete meal. So it's kind of weird having the mint before, but of course you guys are wondering what this is like. And there's little blue pieces in there. It's like a, it looks almost like a toothpaste. Let's give it a try. Oh. It's really sweet. The icy, minty flavor just hits you. It's a lot of menthol in there. Oh, that is really good. Mm. 
as like an after meal. It's gonna clean. It's gonna clean your palate. It's gonna clean your teeth. Most of all, it's gonna get rid of that super garlicky flavor, which I guess some people wouldn't mind having in their mouth after the meal. But of course, if you're talking to people, then you don't want that. So, really good. All right, I'm just gonna have to spit that out right now because we're gonna have to try this. This candy. It's just like a red ruby. It looks like a cough drop. All right, last thing we try. Bon appetit. Okay, so that's like a, that's literally a cherry cough drop. I don't know what I was expecting there. Um, probably not the best way to end off the meal because it was a very mediocre taste. But yeah, it just tastes like a cherry cough drop. That's all I can tell you. I'm sorry. So I'm gonna spit that out now. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys all have a great new year. And uh, I'll see you next time with another really cool ration. So peace.